All right, guys, so this is Todd. He's my cousin. He's going to be telling you guys what all these broadheads are, and then he's going to be shooting them with me today. So, Todd, why don't you go ahead and tell us what all these are? So, first off, we have a knockoff Rage Hypodermic from Amazon. We have a Walmart Special Spitfire. We have a knockoff Rage 2 blade with a cutting tip, not the chisel tip. We have this old single bevel uh, fixed blade that we were given. We have two uh, Walmart special four blades. And then we have a Rage Bone Crusher three blade, a G5 fixed three blade, a real Rage uh, two blade with the cutting tip. And then we have our control tip, just a fixed G5 point. All right, guys, and then also today we had made some, we made some ballistics gel, and we're going to put it right here, and we're going to shoot them into ballistics gel, cardboard, and probably wood. So here's the ballistics gel, looking pretty good. So we're going to put that right here on this bucket and uh, shoot it and see which one penetrates the most. So here we go. And shoot right there. So, All right, guys, so the bows we're going to be using today is I'm going to be using a Matthews V3X with a five pin and the Matthews drop whip. Uh, I'm shooting the V3 with a Hamski drop away and then a sidebar, custom strings, and a thumb button. And uh, Ultra View. Oh, yeah, Ultra View single pin with an Excel sidebar. All right, so let's start shooting. Todd's gonna shoot the first one. He's gonna shoot him in the same order that we introduced him. So the Rage Hypodermic knockoff. We don't know yet, but it might go all the way through. So we break up. You missed it, this guy. Well, we missed it by a little bit, but we didn't hit the jump, so we can do it again. <laughs> He's like that far under. So we're gonna shoot again. All right guys, so I'm gonna shoot now, uh, since he missed, and then we're gonna shoot that brought it again, but I'm shooting, which one is this? The Walmart four blade. The Walmart special four blade. So just gonna try and aim for the jump. I hit the gel, it looks like a big incision. And it went through the back. That's very good for our first arrow. Uh, I'll show you in just a second. Right, guys, so this was the first one. Got great penetration in the gel. Got a great entry hole. And if you can see, it boarded out there. And it shot out the back just a tiny bit. That's a great shot by that um, Walmart Special 4 blade. So next up, I believe, is the, next up is the G5 Bone Crusher, I think it is, right? So we're going to shoot this next. All right, next is the Rage 3 Blade Bone Crusher. So another good, pretty good penetration hole came all the way through, but the blades did not open up. So come on. All right, let's shoot another one. All right, guys, next up, this is the one that I personally use, the G5 three blade um, fish. Can you see the three marks of that big entry hole? And then it went, it bored a huge, probably the biggest bore yet, flew right out the back. That is why I shoot that broadhead. All right guys, the next broadhead is the actual Rage broadhead. And uh, what is this, the Rage, just Rage? The Rage two blade. Two blade. So we're gonna shoot this, hopefully in a different spot. I 
I missed. Guys, the next rod hood is the Rage Bone Crusher. This is the one that Todd actually uses for deer hunting. So, see if it's any good. Great penetration. Alright guys, the next one and final one for me probably is the Rage Bone Crusher 3 blade. So, shoot this and uh, see if we can't get any more penetration. Look at that penetration. Three blades opened up. This one opened up a little less. But look at that channel going down the middle and out the back. That is a huge channel. Only a little bit less penetration than the two blade, but a bigger yeah. channel. Way bigger channel. So I'm going to put down the bow, pick up the camera, and we're going to let Todd shoot into this block. And don't click out of the video soon because we're going to be shooting these into a bunch of different stuff. So stay tuned, guys guys so Todd's gonna shoot his bone out and he's shooting the uh, rage knockoff rage hypodermic yeah that and he's shooting it upright and it looks like it had great look at that mark from those blades opening up went all the way through look at that right there see that and look at that exit. It's a good exit hole. Guys, so the next one is? The Rage Two Blade Cutting Knockoff. All right, and right at the target, we're gonna do slow-mo. All right, guys, so looks like pretty good opening hole. Look at that tunnel that thing made, wow. Okay. Look at that. Look at that exit. Wow, that's a, don't be afraid of that shoulder, folks. All right, next shot. Guys, so the next one we're actually really excited about, this is the gift that we don't really know about. I don't, they the probably don't make product. them anymore. The vintage, probably don't make them anymore. But we're gonna aim at the block and see how it goes. That got some, oh my, that is a hole. It's like a perfect square. Oh my, look, look what's not on there. <laughs> look at that folks, that's crazy. There's the tunnel right there. Next up. The Walmart four blade, two blade, whatever you want to call it, special. That penetrated. Wow. Oh, look at that opening hole. That's crazy. Oh, so I cannot come through. That thing penetrated more than I thought it would. Look at that hole. Wow, that's crazy. All right, guys, and the final one is, which one is this? That's like the Spitfire. Spitfire. Walmart, it's like $11 for Walmart. Probably nine, but whatever. <laughs> All right, let's see how she does. Oh, Ooh. that penetrated. Did you hear that slap? Not a, gr oh wow. Um, That might have been part Look of the- Look at how it opened. You can see the wound channel. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a big Look how you can see channel. right where the blade started and then they finished entering there. See here. Straight through the target. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. There is no blades. Wow. Interesting. 
Hmm. But I mean, it's pretty sharp. Either it's really sharp or this stuff is really not sharp. It did pretty bad, actually. Um, the well, fact that the blades broke up, broke off, is like really concerning. So what happens when that goes into a deer? I don't know, but that's like slightly concerning. What do you say, Micah? I say that it did decent beside, it would have been a good broadhead if it didn't lose the blades. It has good penetrating power, it just can't keep the blades. So next up, I think we're either gonna do cardboard 